Hey guys, I'm launching Quick Deploy and in this video I want to quickly showcase how everything works and what possibilities you have with Quick Deploy. So our starting point is we have a local Next.js application for example or Nuxt. Quick Deploy should work with nearly every JavaScript framework definitely but also with Laravel, but this is still in testing, so probably soon. And we want to bring this local web application onto our VPS. And uh, we want to do this under uh, HTTPS domain. And we already have the VPS and we also have access to a domain and we have this domain configured to point onto our server. So here I have a little wildcard domain that points to this server. Now quick deploy basically allows you to deploy any web application with one command. You first have to configure everything and then it should work seamlessly. You can then deploy your web application. You can deploy it together with a database, for example, or multiple containers, um, for example, the front end and the back end together in one project. So let's check it out. For that, we will first go to our code editor. Here we have the terminal. We have quick deploy already installed, but now we have to set it up. For that, we run quick deploy configure. I already did that, but let's do it again. So we enter the IP address, then the username. You shouldn't do it with root, but it's just for showcasing. So I accept. Then we try the connection, everything works, and it's uh, the configuration saved in this config.json. Then we have the running application, we are in the directory, and then we can basically just run quick deploy push, then the domain, so test.quickdeploy.dev, and then the application will upload your project, build a Docker container, and configure the reverse proxy. Building the Docker image can take a moment, so I will see you again when it's built. Okay, now we can see that the Docker image is successfully built and that we configured our domain. And then every time we will deploy a container, that's especially important for updates, we will wait for five seconds to see that the container is running successfully. And then now our local app should be available under test.quickdeploy.dev. So we check it out and our app is here. And that's basically everything you have to do with Quick Deploy to deploy web apps to your VPS. Okay. Sometimes you also need a database in addition to your normal web application. So for example, you just built your Next.js app and you store all your data inside a MySQL database. Would be cool if you could also easily deploy this. So I added another argument to the, to the quick deploy command. So now you can just say quick deploy push domain and then you can just say dash dash db and the type of db. So at the moment supported are MySQL and Postgres. They then also are configured using Docker and will expose the default port. But if you want, you can also specify your own port. So in this case, I will now deploy a new version of my app. Let's say we update our front end with deployed with quick deploy and a database. Save it 
and then we run our quick deploy command and now it should first update our front end and then also additionally deploy the database. I will show you that on the server afterwards. So I will see you again when the app is deployed. And yeah, now that we have the Docker image built, we see that there is a database MySQL, we start a rolling update, then we have again the health check, and now the day up uh, on test.quickdeploy.dev, there should be an updated version with our deployed with quick deploy and database. And then the promised look on the back end, we see that we now also have here our test MySQL. Uh, all of this stuff can be configured I am with command line arguments. Per default, it will just everywhere be the project name. So there you should, <laughs> should put some other stuff. Yeah, but that's basically it. You can really quickly bring live your local web application with one or two commands, depending if you configured it already. And I think that's quite cool. Let me know what you think, if you have any feedback, ideas, or just questions overall. I will answer them. Thank you very much. Bye.